Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, and we are beating the game with only two soldiers per mission on, of course, the highest difficulty. Um, let's go. Uh, it is Operation Iron Slayer. Neutralize a dark VIP or capture him alive. I am torn in between doing either of that. We can use a little bit extra intel. The supplies are almost neglectable. But I want to play a bit with Hogbite and Rovi. Hogbite just slightly injured. Um, but really nothing to be concerned about. And dark VIP missions are fun. It's usually not so problematic than a normal VIP mission because you are you are on a timer, but killing the VIP is, uh, in most of the cases, substantially uh, more easy. With the um, Icarus suit, I can also see how we can just jump until the very end of the map and escape. <laughs> like, that's not a problem, it's such an imbalanced ability. And yeah, Hogbite definitely has no problem getting out of any of the sticky situations, as long as we don't run into a Psy Priest that is going to stasis us, we should be fine with whatever we are going to meet, or whomever we are going to meet. Capture or kill the enemy VIP, Operation Iron Slayer. Beautiful. We even got someone to carry the dark VIP. Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Our position is obscured. Wow. That's far. But we got fourteen turns, so might as well start running. Moving over, Roby is following him. On it. The sheer amount of speed that the two of them have is fascinating. Tim Griffin here will have a hard time keeping up. But I must say Tim has a really nice helmet. I like it. It's a cool soldier. Just the looks of Tim. He has this uh, gas mask, and I think that's a new helmet. Let's take a closer look. Ah, I can't. Anyways. I think we can all agree Tim has it figured out. He better is coming in hitting the ground running because uh, Hogbite and uh, Roby will not wait for him. Wow, that's really far away. All right. I don't know what why it takes so long to execute on the movement, but apparently it is difficult to render all of it. And Tim here, who doesn't have super speed? just already more than a turn behind the rest. They make the 
themselves easy to find. Okay, probably next turn is going to be the first one, uh, turn when we're actually going into a find. There's a huge open space here, and if I were to take a guess, I think we're going to trigger something. Agreed. The Templar agrees. Oh, nice, nice. So, could he attack from here? No, apparently not in line of sight. Good. Let's still do it because this will deal damage and Bladestorm will at least hit two of them. There we go. Solid first hit. We might have triggered another pack, by the way. And three times Blade Storm. I love it. Yep, we have triggered another pack. All right, time for Perry. Advanced teamwork. And I think we're going with the Reaper here. To the void with you. This here is going to be a secure kill. Very nice. Three focus. Move all the way over there. Or we kill this gentleman here and then summon. Um, summon his ghost that would be an option as well we could take a heck what is uh, the reward Uh, somehow we don't know what the reward is. So let's try that again. Bypassing security. I mean, this here is nice. Specifically the 100% chance. But nothing that we need like right now.
Yeah, I think we don't need to go any closer. We're pretty safe where we are. Let's just finish this guy here. We don't need more focus. We have death from above, that's fine. Anyhow, let's just summon a ghost. I think we're fine, I guess we can just overwatch. Tim here is going to be a bit late to, late to the party, I can already see that. So might as well move him over here. So if we were to... Go in here... That would be nice. Let's try to do that. We might pull another pack, but that's okay. So the, uh, the shield barrel will definitely die. Going to parry. And those guys will try to approach us and we'll uh, get a blade storm every single one of them keep in mind they also have tactical analysis and the ghost is very expendable the blade storm there's the parry come on one more blade storm please I do somehow like the idea of Haywire protocoling uh, the sector bot and really, really mass massacring it. I think that's probably not going to happen. Instead, let's move to here. Let's use a protocol on ourselves. Rapid firing. To get this guy down. We continue to damage it. Pretty solid damage, to be honest. And advanced teamwork. This here should kill it. And should trigger death from above. So 
So let's move to here. Just so that we're out of range. Time to soften these guys up. Nice little capacitator discharge. Get ready for a shock. All right, and we need to rebuild our focus. And what better way to do that than to kill every single one of them. There we go, focus increased. Superior speed is a beautiful um, little PCS. We move to here with the ghost again it's expendable it'll get two blade storm attacks and if we move hogbite here hogbite will get another blade storm attack himself tim by the way is still very busy just running so far tim has used every single round as double movement and he has not been able to fire a single shot. He hasn't even seen an enemy so far. That's just how fast um, Hogbite and Roby are clearing the map. This might pull another pack. If it doesn't, everything's fine. Let's start hitting the purifier here. I didn't make it through. A focus strike of power. All right, purifier is almost gone. Uh, we don't have run and gun yet. Uh, positioning ourselves here is a bit risky because of the rockets. Might shoot the rockets up here to let us fall down. That is what the AI is typically doing. So instead, since I'm pretty sure we're standing up here, this is uh, vision range. Might as well just move to here. And Overwatch. Come get some. Hey, he could take his first shot ever. Got it. Or we're just moving over here. Another double move. Yeah, I think we're just going to stand here. It's going to trigger a blade storm. There we go. Purifier down. I knew he would use his uh, rockets. Yeah, we would have killed him even with um, the blade storm of the ghost.
Templar Ghost is burning. Let's heal him then. Moving in, using our second uh, charge. Just standing there for now. Let's soften uh, the Mac up even a little bit more. Didn't work out as we would have planned it. Time for the second Icarus jump. Let's kill the mech. Get from above into reload. And Tim here, Timmy boy, is going to move, starting to burn. Gotcha, Tim. So hunker down. There seems to be at least one more pack left open. Else there wouldn't be an alien turn. Tim keeps on moving. Hogbite moves up. And let's subdue her. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. If, if you say so. On Overwatch. All right, hunger down. The Templar Ghost is finally no longer burning. Yep, there is the typical set of reinforcements. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Let's pick up uh, the dark VIP. And let's move out of here because we don't need to fight against uh, the reinforcements. Has Tim even taken a single shot in the entire mission? No, his gun is still full. The only thing that Tim did was double movement, uh, double moving. So still seven turns left over. And we kind of uh, pretty flawlessly uh, aced the mission. Good. Very good. Recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. Come on, let's speed this up a little bit. Here we go. Templar Ghost was most under fire. Alright. It's really a shame that we can't keep all of the rookies that we're uh, doing missions with. 275 kills, that's insane.
And we got ourselves 81 in total. Beautiful. Let's take a look if we can buy something for the Intel. I mean, we're at 100 Intel. Might as well look if uh, there is a good offer at the black market. We haven't had uh, much spare Intel lately. Superior speed is good. I really like superior agility as well. Gives us a lot of dodge chance. Maybe something to consider. And then there is uh, another sharpshooter kernel for a hundred intel. Um, I mean, yeah, if we were to go for a collection of high-ranking, um, high-ranking soldiers, probably getting a sharpshooter is the right idea. We do have two, though. Ah, screw it. Why not? I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this world once the elders go about their merry way. It this is more a security measure in case really some uh, something goes wrong. I don't think that that's going to happen, to be honest, but you never know. You never know, so that was okay. We got ourselves quite a bunch of um, roughnecks now. One, two, three sharpshooters two grenadiers three grenadiers even um, soon two specialists so yeah i mean although we're only having two per mission the complete mission rewards and the fact that we're never dying uh, has made it uh, so that we are having a broader roster not the worst uh, situation to find yourself in. Avenger plotting new course. Of course, we are once again out of intel. And there is an advanced scope. Good. Let's scan a little bit and speed this here up. New objective added. We need to get into the codex brain of uh, uh, um, one of the uh, living codices. Codice an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However. It was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before... Objective added. Yeah, that's where the first gatekeeper said. The latest operational objectives, Commander. We've established contact with the local resistance forces. In this Let's wait um, until we get uh, the encrypted codex, because uh, then we can basically go here and do both of the missions together. And another supply run, extract advent supplies. A couple of losts are supposedly here. Finally, another mission with losts. I wanted to fight some losts anyways. So the question that I'm asking myself is, whom should we take onto that mission? Edgar Allan Poe and uh, Outrider are still tired. If we were to take Hawkbite and Renman, they might be tired after the mission, which means the Covert Ops mission that is very soon going to happen. Oh my gosh. 
right. Okay, let's quickly do that mission. We just barely started, so might as well just slip it in. I was about to say, um, we we should wait with Edgar, Alien, Poe, and Hogbite because the next covert ops mission is almost done. I just want to make sure that we are um, that we are uh, using them uh, on the training mission. We still need a bit of dodge. So time for another great escape. This time we do have three soldiers, three high-level soldiers on this mission. So I have my severe doubts that that's going to pose any sort of challenge, to be honest. We probably will just breathe through the, uh, the mission. Good news though, this is a completely new team. I think it contains uh, Mitch Mitchell and the others. So none of those except Mitch have seen action so far. And by the way, this here is the mission to um, open the stronghold of the Chosen. Yeah, look at that. We got Wild Child, Top Shelf, and Mish Mitchell. So I would have a hard time seeing how this year is not going to be like an absolute home run. Okay, time to kick this off. First off, the landing. As always, there's going to be a landing. Overwatch, a little bit of an overwatch, and overwatch. We haven't even used Thread Protocol. So let's see how severe we can injure them. Advent forces on the ground. I'll get him next time. Okay, as it stands, we have killed. The Advent um, Captain. And by the way, the sniper seems to have had a bit of a latency there. What? Yeah, let's just use the normal pistol, shall we? Oh my gosh, pistols are strong. After our upgrades, they are indeed really strong. A protocol into a shot. Into not caring at all because we know that there is no one. Hostile target down. Draining ammo fast. Good copy. Moving on target. Good. Let's go. Very soon we're going to see a couple of the chosen ones. Normally they spawn like over here. That will happen next turn. Heading out. Already there. 
Time for reload. There is the lost swarm. If I uh, almost moved a bit too fast. Alright, let's uh, let them come. Next turn we can eliminate all of them. Target's still up. Great overworld shots. Really? Ready to engage. I'm on it. Let's do this. I'm getting done. Of course, there is always the one uh, lost uh, that keeps evading all of the shots. Good, time to move on. Moving to designated position. Mitch takes the lead. Wild Child follows. And top shelf over here. Copy that. Moves over. I'm pretty sure we're soon going to run into the next um, advent, which again shouldn't be a problem. These missions here are incredibly easy. Moving to designated coordinates. Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Overwatch. And let's reload. Just because we can. Next swarm is uh, soon going to join. Headed there now. Moving over here. And there's the next advent. This here should be a kill. Wow, 20 points of damage. I like it. Alright, overwatching, the next swarm will come, and I st uh, there are still one or two more advent soldiers left open. Enemy destroyed. And time for Mitchell to continue with his guardian. That's one. Down. Target neutralized. Two. Down. Target stable. Reload. Three. Down. Hostile neutralized. Reload. Four. 
down. Your job, Mitchell. Alright, Overwatch, Overwatch, everyone takes their position, and let's go. Three more rounds until the next swarm should appear. On the move. Time for some good old full cover. Okay. Fair enough, we don't need to go upstairs. Moving to Overwatch, huh? That's the second last or last um, advent. If it runs into, into us, that would be even better. It does not. It's really a, a rough transition. If you don't have enough movement speed, you can't really move anywhere. Moving on target location. Advent troops spotted. This here might shred him. Nope, doesn't do that. Perfect chance, by the way, for a blaster bomb. Which might trigger a new swarm. Yep. Right on time to get the mutant. Time for some hits. Target disabled. Target neutralized. Well, so much for the overall swarm. Of course he's going to hit us. I wanted a flawless mission and he is having none of that. Brandon here, which heals himself. Somehow this guy has Mitch's number. Mitch misses everything, that guy critically strikes every uh, every single shot. But luckily Mitch hasn't uh, hasn't been here alone. You know there's a mutant over there. So I want to be a bit mindful. No need to ask twice. Still, I want to have the loot. Shield bearer can carry up to superior loot. 
So it might be something worth uh, while our time. Location confirmed. Advanced conditioning isn't too bad. Got and a data pack. Overwatch, reload, and Overwatch. Okay. Time to hit uh, the mutant. Overwatch, Overwatch. Mutant has moved in the meantime. Okay, time for some more Overwatch, and soon we're going to go out of uh, out of here. I've taken damage, which I think was unnecessary. Probably could have played that better. Okay, moving over here. Out. Finally, time to face the mutant. Who hides like a little chicken. Rolling. It's one down. Two down. Three down. And four down, hopefully. Very nice. Unfortunately, not far enough. Similarly, with the um, saturation fire. You know what? Let's just say the protocol ourselves. That will give us overwatch and he won't be able to hit us. It's a nice little overwatch trap here. He's reacting with uh, some overwatch maneuver himself. However, he has forgotten that we can hit him. and overwatch. Let's see what the mutant is going to do. There we go, that's the first hit. Guardian procced. Another overwatch. Interesting. Nobody. The disadvantage is you're now in range. And there we go. Overwatch removed. On the move. Affirmative. 
closing on target position now. Back online. Okay. Short of the one hit that we were taking, which was really unnecessary and not very well played. The rest of the mission went pretty smooth. There we go. Everything is fine. So, that should give us the access to all the Chosen, which means we need to do the Chosen mission and we do have a supply rate. Supply rate is not super important, but still we could get some decent, uh, some decent supplies from it. Killing the Chosen, however, is very important. Sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Interestingly enough, Mitchell has already killed 85 aliens himself, and he joined the party pretty late. We are victorious, and the so here he got his promotion, and we finally located the stronghold. Bomb squad. Experimental grenade and heavy weapon projects are completed instantly. Look at that. We could recruit a skirmisher, which would give us a high level skirmisher. Might be interesting. I like the idea. Promotion dodge plus six for seven days. Skirmisher recruiting would be nine days. Aim, hacking, health. Oh, wait, we still need to unlock the chosen. Ah. <sighs> well. I suppose you gotta do what you gotta do. So might as well put both of them into the mission. You know what, there is not even a chance for an ambush. Hmm, whom are we going to put with him onto the mission? It's... Just one second. Just one second. We can put either of them on the um, uh, onto the ambush mission. The only thing I want to do before we do that: extended magazine and laser. Okay, I love it. We do have uh, repeaters. Let's put an advanced repeater into the weapon. Good, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go through a couple of uh, the newcomers here. I think um, modify the loadout. Superior scope, yes. Superior expanded magazine, yes. And I think I like the superior repeater a lot. Just using some of our technology here. All right, she's fine. Wildchild also has a personal upgrade, that's good. 
Red has a personal upgrade and the weapon is upgraded. Top shelf. Personal sim. Um, I think the advanced speed isn't bad for him. Alternatively, the advanced conditioning, because where his snipers are pretty low on hit points. Solid weapon. Another weapon. We don't need so many weapons, so might as well give him normal advanced gear, advanced scope. Advanced auto loader for two extra um, auto loads and advanced hair trigger. Okay, and last but not least, another sniper. Bit of extra mobility. color code him correctly there we go and weapon upgrades good question um I think we're going for another advanced version, advanced uh, scope, advanced hair trigger, and advanced autoloader. AKA a uh, quote unquote good enough weapon for him. Okay, so all of them are equipped, perfect. Still got some more uh, funds to play around with. So putting into Wrath suits for the snipers. And now we can finally put them to work. Hogbite and one of the snipers can, now that he's equipped, just in case something happens, can go on to this mission and infiltrate the stronghold. I like the idea of um, of having another skirmisher, and maybe we can recruit one next month. But I first and foremost want to get into the um, stronghold of um, of uh, the sniper, of the hunter, and kill him. That's number one priority. So while Stockbite is going to be on that mission. We're still having our we're still having our supply rate here, which I will prepare for the next time. Uh, this episode was a bit longer than expected originally. We're going in uh, with uh, the supply rate, and then I think uh, next up we're going to do some of the storyline missions just to keep it rolling and uh, get into the end game thank you so much for watching it was a pleasure um, as always and um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, like it leave a comment and most and uh, most and important tune in the next time when we're continuing this great beautiful run take care and have a great evening bye bye